Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Robin, I'm here to share another amazing story with you today. Are you ready? This is called the sewing lesson. Words and pictures by Deanna Sobel Liederman. Deanna Sobel Liederman also wrote the amazing book that we read together called Noah Henry and his rainbow. Do you remember that rainbow story? Well, here is the sewing lesson. Are you ready? Look at this picture. Look at the little girl. I was supposed to be asleep, but there was a light on somewhere. Do you see the light, boys and girls? These beautiful pictures. I crept out of bed and tiptoed down the hallway. I saw Mama sitting, leaning over the dining room table, her shoulders hunched up like mountains. I heard a humming. Mmm sound and a tap tap tapping sound. What's that? I asked, wrapping an arm around her neck. It's a sewing machine. What are you doing? I said. Making masks, she said. What for? For the people who are helping. Like the doctors and the nurses and other people who work at the hospital? Mama nodded. And the grocery store workers? Mama nodded again. And our postman and the farm workers and... And all the people who have to work outside their home right now, Mama said. How can you make so many, Mama? I can't, but I can do my part. Can I do one? Not tonight, said Mama. Mama tucked me back into bed. In the morning, Mama showed me a little mask that she had made just for me. It was scritchy and scratchy, and I didn't want to wear it at first, and I thought I looked funny in it, too. But Mama put on hers, and I put on mine, and we went outside to take a walk around the park. It was spring, and all the trees were pinks and purples, and they reminded me of the color of my mask. Do you see her pink mask, boys and girls? I had almost forgotten I was even wearing it. When can I have my sewing lesson? I asked. No time like the present, said Mama. Look what happened. At the dining room table, Mama taught me how to sew. She helped me make a special mask just in her knock at the door. Wonder who's coming to the door. <gasps> it was Grandpa just getting home from his long shift at the hospital. I showed him the new mask that I made just for him. He was so proud. Oh, he was so very proud. lesson. The end. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for joining me today. I love reading to you. I love listening to you talk about the books that you're reading, and I miss you. Be well, and we are going to see each other soon.